episode 18, and the Packers once again beat the Bears like they did in the playoffs. Aaron Rodgers, three touchdowns, one interception, 63.6% completion rating, player of the game. Uh, actually, my player of the game goes to Enigma Quiz St. Brown, because Aaron Rodgers threw a, a pick six, or, yeah, or maybe it wasn't even a pick six. Yeah, it was a pick six, so, uh, yeah. Let's take a look here at the stats. So, yep, three touchdowns, close game. Packers defense. Um, injuries might be turned up too high, I think. Rushing. No one's getting the rushing done. But, uh, receiving. Because he was going to put on one catch, one touchdown. And Valdez Scantling did not meet his goal. Sorry, buddy. Defensively. Um,. Tackles for loss. Uh, neither did Zadaria Smith. He only had one. So neither of the goals were met. But the Packers moved to 3-2 and two on the season. Defeating the Bears. And here is MVS complaining. I didn't get it done today, coach. But to be honest, I don't feel like I was given an opportunity. If I'm not the focal point of the offense, then whatever. I'm fine. But I'm disappointed. Zadaria Smith didn't have a game I was hoping he'd have. It's my fault. I misread his talent, or I didn't put him in a good position to see it either way. It's a big letdown. Sad, sad, sad face. So, yep. Uh, the Bears are 1-4, so hey, let's advance to the next week, which is the... Uh, we have a week 9 bye. Okay. Off to the Falcons we go, who, if I'm not mistaken... They beat us in the playoffs, so, so this is kind of a revenge game. Kenny Clark getting his point on. We are definitely pushing another run stopper point on him. Uh, hit power pursuit and tackle. All right. And then his backup, uh, another run stopper. Albert Higgins Jr. getting a couple of points there. So we are off to play to 4 and 1 Falcons. Be back to take a look at their depth chart and uh, medical. Our medical is still two weeks left for Brian Bulaga. And they have Joe Williams, who has a torn bicep, and Deontay Freeman, who has a partial ACL tear. So both are running backs, so they're probably really thin on their running backs. Everything else looked fine to them. Let's take a look at their... So, ooh, Matt Ryan and Aaron Rodgers are the same quarterback rating so they got Cecil Wallace Danny Vitelli is their fullback oh that's funny Julio Jones is amazing Mohamed Sanu is a patriot it's not fast at all the rest of their wide receivers are tight end Austin Hooper can't go wrong there there's Clay Matthews cousin Decent offensive line there. Left end is Tackus McKinley still. Adrian Claiborne. Grady Jarrett. I don't know who that is, but Dion Jones is their middle linebacker. Right outside linebacker, Desmond Trufant. They have a 86 overall speed corner. Uh, move them to safety. It's just too slow. Um, yep. Okay. So there we go. We're gonna we're gonna just gonna play this game, and I'll see you on the. Other. Dan Quinn's upset. The Falcons lost to the Packers. Great game. Aaron Rodgers had a pretty good game, but he did throw an interception at. He keeps throwing the interceptions right at the uh, when he's really close to his own end zone. So they're punching it in afterwards. So. Um, Jamal Williams actually had better rushing yards. And I think uh, Aaron Jones is hurt. Devontae Adams had a big game here. MBS is hurt. Keiki Koke. Defensively, did we have any sacks? Yep. Kendall, Clenny, and Zadarius had a sack. And no interceptions because we are just struggling in that department. So, um... 
if, if there's an injury player injured player I'm gonna bump the injury down a little bit I think there's too many injuries going on but first we have to do some upgrades Kiki Kote got an upgrade getting his deep threat on we have a lot of deep threat wide receivers our center getting some agile on not good for run blocking though apparently start working on his uh, run block. Ooh, two strength. That was a nice upgrade there. One new injury to report. Aaron Jones, dislocated elbow. Yeah, man, just... Okay, sliders, we're going to have to turn the injury down by two points, and then... Um... Going... 47 here. We'll do the same. And injuries. Bring it back down to 50. We'll just drop it one. Yep. Okay. So there we go. So now we don't have our starting running back. This this <laughs> this season has been. Uh, Oof on us injury wise. Here, this is Devontae Adams. Did you see me last week, coach? I'm making them big plays flying up and down the field. Yeah, I really feel like I hit my stride. There's more of that to come from. I got some pretty good passes thrown my way. You give me another hand, I promise I'll make some plays. For real. Someone warned those DBs in Detroit. Best 200 yards or four touchdowns to become an X Factor wide receiver. Brian Balaga has been cleared. So this is week seven. So after this game, we're going to go. And, uh, oh. Because if we, week eight we put him on. I need to, I need to do this. And I'll explain later why. Oh, I should have waited until after the game. So, a couple of players we can negotiate for. Kevin King and Jamal Williams. So we should get some uh, calculator tape out here and take a look at Kevin King. 13.6 divided by 4 is 3.4 million a year. 8.36 divided by 4 is 2 million, a little over 2 million. Okay, so he wants 4 years. I have no cash. We need some home games there. <laughs> Oops, that's too high. 3.4215. See what he says. All right, Kevin King is part of the team. We need cash, though. Packers have new money. I'm going to take care of this and I'll come back for the second player we're trying to sign with no money. Okay. And now it's going to be Jamal Williams. We're going to give him a four-year deal. 1.6, and he wants a $600,000 bonus. So we'll make that a 650. dollars 9 million even. Make the offer for a fullback. Four-year fullback, 9 million bucks. Okay, so our fullback is signed for the remainder of this play. All right, we're playing the one in five Lions, and we're desperate to win. So let's take a look at the medical center. So Aaron Jones is out, but next week 
Uh, oh, Brian Blog is playing with a fractured forearm, but he is not on the depth chart, and there was a reason I did that. Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> okay, yep, injuries need to be turned down. So, left guard, cornerback, TJ Hawkinson, and then Deshaun Hand is up for the season. Whew! Depth chart for the Lions. Matthew Stafford is a 78 overall now. Ryan Tannehill is a 71. Carry on Johnson. Good fullback there in Trey Madden, Kenny Galladay, Marvin Jones Jr., Kelvin Benjamin. Jesse James is their tight end because TJ Hawkinson got hurt. Left guard's kind of weak, but who am I to talk? Trey Flowers, uh, Romo. Oh, was that? Snacks Harrison is still. Had a lot of players on their injury. I think, yeah, this is the one that hurts them. So Justin Coleman, who should be their nickelback, is their starting. All right, Karande Driggs, the Seahawk. Right, let's go ahead and play this game, slow-mo. End of the game. It's actually just the first two series. Let's go, Packers. Gonna kick the ball off first. As you saw, we signed. Ooh, good return. Jamal Williams to a four-year deal. And he's hurt now. I did lower the... Injury rating. Okay, holding his hand. Is that a carry on Johnson, maybe? They always do the weird thing. They supposedly fixed that where they weren't going to have their main pl people doing returns. I'm talking about that, I keep forgetting to uh, change my punts formations and stuff. Alright, fake. Wide open, first down for the Lions. Marvin Jones Jr. Senior. Packers are rushing, but didn't get any pressure. So another first down. Kenny Galladay last week. Two passes, two completions for. We did lower the uh, completion percentage too. Run up the middle, a couple yard gain there. For carry on Johnson. As you can see our key inactives for the Packers. Second down at seven. Lions are at the 39 yard, 38 yard line. Drop back. Little dump off pass. No one's there to guard him. I think he got a first down. Three for three for Matthew Stafford. Third and inches for the Packers. Matthew Stafford's gonna be in shotgun. It's a handoff. He breaks free. Uh, I think he made it. Once again, fourth and inches. Man, they are just getting the terrible spots. But there we go. Fourth down. Sean Gary with Rashawn Gary with the tackle. Why is he playing? Did I not put Preston Smith in? Ooh, big Mason Crosby. I didn't look at that, but Mason Crosby is their kicker. It is. Mason Crosby is a lion, everybody. Mason Crosby is a lion. <laughs> That's funny. Um, yeah, I just cut him for because his kick power went down, but then he just drilled that one, so Lions are up 3 nothing. Deep kick for him there. Aaron Rodgers, 10 touchdowns, 9 interceptions. Did you see Matt Ryan last week? He was like 16-0 and zero or something like that. Same quarterback rating, so Aaron Rodgers just a little more careless with the ball now. Late. And we don't have Aaron Jones, so Corey Grant is going to get most of the runs. 
We did upgrade some run. Our uh, Elton Jenkins got a little bit of a run road grader kind of thing. All right, second down and nine for the Packers. Pitch out. He's got speed, but he went the wrong way. He fumbled the ball. The Lions have the ball. That is not a good start to the Packers start. And that's going to be it for this, and we're just going to send the rest. I decided to challenge that fumbling ruling. I think he's down. Well, so is his knee. His knee hits before the ball comes out. The ground causes the fumble. Let's see what they say. Third down and two. Hopefully I didn't break the game. Can we get a play call in? I can't do anything. So they're going to get a five yard penalty. Nice job, Madden. Okay. Well, that sucked. So we can sim it now. All right, third down and seven instead of third down and two because of Madden glitch. And will it matter? It won't matter. First down, Packers. Kiki Kote with the first down. Miami's 5 and 0. Oh. Maybe they really changed their season around, huh? All right, Aaron Rodgers back in the shotgun. Corey Grant to his right. It's a draw, handoff to Corey Grant up the middle. Good game on first down there. Looks like an eight yard gain there. Lions run a three four just like the Packers. Don't know too many of these players. Alright, Aaron Rodgers. Kind of a pistol. Quick pitch out, but oof. Play was blown up. Aaron Rodgers, third down and five. Pass over the middle, Kiki Kote again. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep driving, Packers. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Little pitch out to. Wow. That was a nice pitch out to uh, Inimica Sweet Brown there. Hand off. Up the middle. Yeah. Corey Grant running hard up the middle for the first down. The crowd is cheering. Go, Pack, go. Back to drop. Little pitch out to Jimmy Graham, who got around the tight end for a first down and then carries defenders for a few more steps. Jimmy Graham is playing pretty good this year. Aaron Rodgers back to pass. Little dump off to Jamal Williams for a loss. 
two-yard loss for Jamal Williams there. Just recently signed a contract extension with the Packers. Going to be here for another four years as their fullback. Work on his fullback skills. Watch the run, everybody. And it's a run. Right into Snacks Harrison, it looked like. No, that's not Snacks, but they gave it to Walker for the tackle. Third down and 14 for the Packers. Nothing doing on that play. All right, big fourth down, third down and 14 here. Aaron Rodgers back to pass on a screen dump off, but he's got to get around the corner. He does get around the corner, but gets tripped up from behind. Man, that would have been good play, but instead they're going to kick a field goal. Mason Crosby is a lion. Yeah, I'm not sure what to say about that one. Um, the Packers dropped a three-point loss to the Lions. So... It's funny, I adjusted the thing to 50 and now they have stupidly high completion percentages. But yeah, Jamal Williams threw a, a pass to Tony Brown for a first down. But look at that, Keyshawn Johnson, carry on Johnson. Packers got no run game. Didn't have any real offense defensively couple of three sacks no interceptions again this team is just struggling on the playmaker side so I think we might um, end this episode here thank you guys see you tomorrow for the next episode or later or something goodbye all right Devontae Adams wants to tell me I uh, you did not call the plays correctly <laughs> That's funny. Bye, guys.